Right, so, hi everyone. Um, I'm busy driving now and uh, drive my car. And I uh, thought it's about time I explained a few things and maybe taught you guys a little bit of Chinese. I mean, I quite often get comments where people say, oh, your Chinese is really good, etc., etc. But I'm going to be completely honest with you and say my, my Chinese is pretty rubbish. I mean, uh, I'm okay, I'm past the beginner stage, that's for sure. Uh, however, this is one of those languages that just. Uh, it's really not easy to master. It's it's not as complicated as you think. In fact, Chinese is actually very easy when you think about the way it's put together. But um, there are just so many little intricacies, and you know, I guess it's like learning any language. Like English is, you know, if you're not a native speaker, there's just so much to it. But uh, I guess what I what I'm trying to say is that I can teach you guys if you are interested, and I think some of you are some very basic Chinese um, which would help you out in a survival situation I mean I, I'm more than qualified to do that I wouldn't ever try to teach you how to uh, <laughs> negotiate a business deal or something but uh, yeah so let's just do that uh, get started and I think what I'm going to do is because today is a for me it's a well it's already been a pretty long day and it's only 12 o'clock uh, you know noon uh, yeah, at the end of the day, when this day finally ends, which is, uh, I don't know what time that'll be, I'm going to need a beer. And uh, I think the most important thing for you to learn, the first thing you should ever learn in any language is how to order a beer. So I'm going to explain that, but uh, I'll explain it in depth to you uh, a little later. So stick around and uh, learn how to order a beer in Chinese. Okay, so now... Um Today did turn out to be quite a day and a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. So um, I thought rather than just going out and getting a Chinese beer as usual, um, I'd go out and buy myself something expensive here. So I got myself a Polner. I really should charge them for advertising, don't you think? Anyway. Now, I said earlier I'd teach you some Chinese. Now I've been thinking about it and uh, <clears throat> It's a lot more complicated than I originally thought it would be because things that I take for granted are things that you just wouldn't know. So I'm going to have to start with the very basics. I mean, absolute basics. Uh, so let's talk about count words. Count words are a pain in the ass. And um, basically all they are are ways to differentiate different things. Like, you know, in English we say a glass of water or a bowl of soup or, you know, just to differ differentiate things. Now in Chinese it's very much the same. Like we say a bowl of rice, yi wan mi fan, and we say a uh, can, yi guang, and we say, you know, anyway. I'm not going to get sidetracked with all that crap because um, I'm not here to teach you Chinese as in a uh, proper Chinese teacher. I'm here to teach you survival Chinese, something to get you started. If you ever find yourself in China or if you just want to go have some fun, go down to the local Chinatown or something, you know, and try it out, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm teaching you Chinese, by the way, which is Mandarin Chinese, the official language in China, uh, not, not Cantonese, which is what you hear in Hong Kong, uh, just by the by. Okay, so now, instead of having to use a specific count word, I'm going to teach you a magic count word, basically one that you can use for anything. It might sound a little strange sometimes. I mean, for instance, what I'm going to teach you is going to sound like you walking into a place and saying, I want one beer instead of a bottle of beer, which is more natural, obviously. Or, you know, maybe like, I want one rice or I want one paper. Yes, it's going to sound unnatural, but people will know what you're talking about. So let's get on to it. The magic count word is G, okay? And that is spelt in pinyin G-E, G. -E, G. And of course, uh, the Chinese for one is yi. So if you want one something, you say yi ge. So this is what you must practice. Yi ge, yi ge, yi ge. All right, now I'm sounding like an idiot, but I guess you get the point. Now beer is, uh, well, beer in Chinese is pijiao, okay? Now let's not pay too much attention to the tones, but um, I'll break it down for you. P is P-I, all right? Um, 
and jio, which is one of those, you know, goes down, goes up kind of tones, jio, all right, is jio means alcohol, p means, I have no idea, and uh, put them together, you get pgo, which is beer. Okay, so now, if you just walk into any place and you say, yiga pgo, that means one beer. And if you walk into a restaurant and you just say, yiga pgo, they will bring you one beer. They will, and that's just kind of how it works. You don't need to worry if you're getting it a little wrong, because, you know, if it's a bottle of beer, you'd say, yi ping pgo. If it's a can of beer, you say, yi guang pgo. If you want a glass of beer, which you can't even order a glass of beer here, it's always by the bottle, it would be yi bei pgo. So, all you need to know is, yiga pgo, okay? Remember that. So now that we know what one beer is, we need to know how to say, I want, because obviously you have to say, I want one beer. So, um, let's take a look at I or me. I or me in Chinese is, well, in Pinyin, it's W-O, okay? And we pronounce it wo, okay, wo. So, wo is me, wo. Want is yao, that's Y-A-O, so we say, wo yao pi jiao, okay, I want beer. But now we always have to say I want one or two or whatever, so, wo yao yi pi jiao is probably the sentence I say the, have said the most in my entire time in China. Uh, yes, and it's, uh, it's a good way to start, so let's see. You walk into the bar or you walk into the restaurant, you sit down, the waitress comes up to you and she asks you some weird thing in Chinese that you've never heard before and you don't know what she's saying because you're new here. You look at her and you say to her, so how do you get someone's attention? Well, it might sound a bit rude, but you just shout it out. For you. Uh, all I ordered was, well, I ordered a beer, like I said. She asked me, Qingdao, right? Basically, that's what she said. You said you want Qingdao, right? Because that's the leading brand, the biggest brand in China. It was originally a German, from German origin anyway, yes. So I said yes. So uh, now you know how to order a beer. Now catch up with you when it comes. Not my beer. Just out of interest. Um, you know, earlier I shouted out Fu uh, Yuan. Just means. Um, well, attendant really, because a fuyuan is uh, applicable to a waitress and also a shop attendant and, well, any kind of uh, person in any service position. So, for all of you who would like to know, that's what fuyuan means. I have a feeling my beer is about to arrive. Let's see if I, my feeling is right or not. So there it is. All I needed to say was "wo yao yi ge pi jiao," and then when she said uh, she said "qing dao shi ba," I said "shi," which just means yes. You could also say "dui," also means yes, and this is the result. And I'm gonna have to drink it. Not that I'm complaining, it's not a bad beer. Uh, who am I kidding? It's in a glass already. Mm. It's not that bad actually. Oh, it's nice and cold. Alright, speak to you later. Here's something very strange if ever I saw it. It's like this mini bike frame with a 100cc engine in it. It's definitely not the original engine. It's very cute. It even looks like an e-bike frame. Whatever it is, it's strange. You saw it here first.